In this tutorial, we'll see how to do SSH key based authentication from NetMink O2 Cisco device. Here I have already added SSH key into the device. The device IP is 0 0.63. First, we'll try to log in. The username which is having SSH key access is admin2. I'll log in with the credentials 0 0.63. And from this device, I am able to log in without password. And if you verify the config of this, the user admin2 will have the SSH key. And earlier I have manually copied it. And if you want to check the key in this particular machine, you can go to home slash dot SSH. And I have copied this particular public key. And here we can see the MD5 hash of the key. We'll verify the key first. To verify the key, we need to give SSH keygen hyphen E MD5 then hyphen LF ID underscore RSA dot POB. This is C6 D4 and in the device also we can verify same data. And when I demonstrated Paramico SSH key based authentication. I showed how to generate this key and add this into Cisco device. But I will quickly run through the same steps. To generate a key, first I will delete this public key and private key. I will give rm id underscore rsa. And now we don't have any keys available and I'll generate a new key. I'll give SSH key gen. And the location is going to be dot SSH and file name is going to be ID underscore RSA. I'll give enter and I'll generate without passphrase. And now if you see, I have two new files. This is the private key and this is the public key. Now to copy this, first we need to fold this into lesser character because if you see the file, rsa.pub the entire character will be coming in a single line. Cisco will not accept this many characters in single line. So we need to fold it. To fold it, we can give fold hyphen B hyphen W then 64 ID underscore RSA dot POB. And now we have the public key here. And we need to copy and paste it into Cisco device and before that we will remove this configuration I will go to config no IP public keychain No IP as such public keychain. Now this will remove the entire public key chain configuration. So now we can add it. I'll give IP as such public keychain username admin2 
and here we can give key string and then I can paste the entire data then exit and now let us verify the config now here we have a new key we can verify the md5 of it the new key is 2b04 and you can see here the same key is available in Cisco device and now we will try to log in with admin2 63 and now I am able to log in without any password now we will see how to do it from netminko currently this script uses the username admin and password admin so we can run it so now this is connecting without any certificate now we will change this to admin2 And here we need to add a new key called use keys. We need to give true. After that, we can give key file and key file location is dot ssh. We can give the complete location of this slash id underscore rsa because while giving the key file we'll be giving private key and we have copied the public key value to the device so once we do that we can just run the script now this will be using admin2 here we are getting an exception session timeout so let us enable logging in the script i'll import logging logging dot basic config file name I'll give ssh log comma 11 logging dot debug and now we will be getting a file ssh login the same directory let us try running this So we are getting exception and we'll open the file and here we can see one error so what it is saying is the server is supporting only ssh rsa and parameco's algorithms are here and if you want to support initially handshake with this you need to disable all the other algorithms and in the parameco example also we have seen that let me open that script here also we were giving this particular disabled algorithms we can copy this either you can put it in this format like dictionary public key equal to or you can even give it as a key value pair like this and that time you need to remove this and put the dictionary format so let me copy this and I'll go to the netmigo script
we'll change this to colon and we need to give a comma here so now we'll try running the script and now we are getting the output from the device so after adding the disabled algorithms in the SSH handshake we are getting the output we can see that in our log file as well 